Hi guys, this is your host, Paul Zaparata, and welcome to STI Orca Podcast. We are going to understand and share the ideas and technology in hospitality industry. We all know what is technology all about. So, uh, technology na is um, nakadikit na siya and sa ating pang-araw-araw na ginagawa. Um, we, use this, we use technology in our daily lives. Like, mas napapadali at mas napapabilis ng teknolohiya ang ating mga ginagawa like sa work man yan or sa school. So, uh, we're gonna discuss and share uh, how the information technology has affected the tourism and hospitality industry. So, first, we're gonna know what is the information technology and say that, that played the important role in hospitality industry. So, uh, Technology has a help to also to reduce costs, uh, enhance operational efficiency, and improve the service and the customer experience. So, both uh, customers and business can help benef- the benefit and in also to improve a communication reservation and also the guest service system. So, as uh, technology also help the tourism and hospitality uh, industries to replace the expensive um, human behavior yun nga, and the technology labor and also it helps to reduce the labor costs but also helps to avoid customer issues so service issues here so uh, as a hospitality uh, student uh, graduating this next year hopefully uh, medyo may pressure and medyo nakakakaba na mag-apply sa mga sa industry lalo na ngayon this, nung nag-start yung pandemic because uh, we all know na naapektuhan talaga yung turismo hindi lang uh, dito sa bansa also sa buong mundo so as uh, so these are one of example kung paano natutulungan ni technology yung uh, tourism and hospitality industries. So, because, ma- because marami tayo, we all know naman na mar- maraming um, benefit yung technology sa industry natin, but isa lang yung itatopic natin, and this is the the internet and marketing powerful impact in hospitality and tourism, like what I said earlier. So, uh, the customers first experience with your business is um, they can go to your website or Facebook page or any sites that you have in your business because it also includes their uh, pictures and the review of the past guests and it is a very vital for the business to effect- effectively utilize online advertising, social media, blogs, and online purchasing. So, to help also convenience their customer, especially when um, your competitors are, are doing the same thing. So, uh, we're gonna talk about naman what is the meaning of, uh, or what is the definition of a POS. So, POS means the point of scale. So, POS is uh, responsible for the management of the sales, the purchases, and the sales of being carried out into a business keeping the track inventories, employees, marketing, campaigns, and the various other features. So next is uh, why do business need these POS systems? So the purpose of the POS system set up is by the any store is improve sales and profits by keeping the track of all the transactions in the retail store from the retail stores. Sorry. So, these systems are also responsible for keeping the possible or the business data well managed. So, lahat ng data included na doon and uh, naka maayos and it also insured and hindi para hindi natin ma-miss yung mga transaction or the past records before those. So, this POS set uh, software computers for a retail business store also enables to business to accept the record cash flow and payment. So, it also makes to uh, make sure that the products are well stocked. The This software also is a cloud-based, so monthly subscriptions are offered for each 
system. So, why we need to know the important or the importance of POS in the system? So, uh, based on my uh, based on the handout, I think the importance of POS sa industry sa technology natin na ginagamit is para mas matrack mas mapadali yung record and the past transactions before para hindi na mas mahirapan mahanapin yung mga uh, records and transactions and also uh, organize siya like hindi na talaga need ng manpower like nandun na talaga sa uh, need siya ng para makita or hanapin pero like yung hindi na naka-file, yung hindi na wala ng papers na gagamitin like paperless. So next, we're going to explain what is the IoT or Internet of Things matters. So when it comes to uh, something is connected to the internet, that means that can be sent information or receive an information or maybe both. So uh, this ability to send or to receive the uh, information make the things smarter and smarter is the better. So let's use our sm smartphone for the example. So uh, for the example is you can listen to any song in the world but not because your phone has every song stored on it. It's because every song in the world is stored somewhere else that place is known as a, the cloud so and your phone can request a song and receive the information to stream on it so that the one of the example so to be smart uh, the things are uh, doesn't need to have the super storage or super computer inside of it so all things as to do is to connect to the super storage or a super computer so this being connected is um, wise and easy so uh, in the internet of things all the things we can put into the trait category so I've searched on it and I see uh, the category so this number one is sensor that collect information and then send it Number two is the computers that receive information and then act on it. And number three is the things that can do both and all the all these uh, three all these trees have uh, numerous benefits that can feed on each other. Are the sum of the service for the uh, growing IoT ecosystem that brings to the hospitality sectors include uh, number one or uh, we have the one example na lang is these uh, the body area sensor so uh, we all know naman na ngayon na marami nang pumapasok or mga bagong gadgets like kagaya ng iphone ang bilis magbago na uh, unit like every year nagbabago like ngayon last year we have the iphone 12 ngayon mayroong iphone 13 incoming na so uh, also may mga uh, smart watches na din tayo, smart clothing, like yung mga uh, ginagamit natin uh, sa paglilinis, madami na ngayon like mga electric na talaga sobrang hindi ka na hindi ka nagagalaw eh, hahayaan mo na lang maglinis ganun na ka high tech and ka improve yung technology natin, paano pa kaya sa industry natin and as a student or as a hospitality student uh, paano magiging handa yung uh, mga gagraduate ngayon at next year sa ating makabago um, ang way ng, sa ating industry, paano makakasabay paano tayo magka come up dun sa mga ginagawa nila sa makabago like ngayon, hindi um, to be honest, uh, medyo may pressure and takot sa akin kung paano ako magsistart ng work. Again, I am Loisa Parante and see you again for our next podcast.